Good morning, Trinity families. Have you heard the word? What's the word? Today comes from Matthew 11, verse 28. Hey, Frederick, Frederick, wake up, wake up. Yes. Hey, happy weekend. Happy weekend to you. Do you have any plans? Do you have any plans? Maybe something fun like a little trip, vacation, going boating, a sporting event, play dates, or maybe you have to do some work around the house, garden, laundry, clean your room. Well, whatever it is, weekend is usually a time when we change up our schedule, we have a different rhythm. So I pray that whatever is going on with you, that you find some time for rest. Now today's verse, Matthew eleven twenty eight 28, talks about rest and I have some actions for us. So here we go. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Let's try that again. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. You know, Jesus keeps giving us invitation, doesn't he? Come to me, follow me. I have something for you. I don't want you to miss out on. And weary means tired, and burden can mean worrisome and he has rest to give us. Now this rest is not necessarily a physical rest, like yo, yo, I mowed the lawn all day, I get to take a nap. This is actually talking about a rest for your soul. A rest for your soul. Because sometimes we can carry the weight of our sin, and that can feel like a burden. Or we feel like we have to earn our way to get to heaven or we have to labor to get access to God, or we have to work really hard to keep those commandments perfectly. And here's the deal. Jesus is the one that came to carry the weight of our sin. He's the one that's given us direct access to God through him. He is the one that has fulfilled the law and kept it perfectly. He is the one that has made heaven our home. So we don't have to carry the weight on our shoulder. Jesus gives us rest in the form of love and healing and peace. Now on this side of heaven, we still have to labor. We still have responsibilities. I mean, I can't get you out of dishes for the, for the rest of your life. But we have shoulders bigger than ours that carry those. And he is promised to be our partner in this life as he gives us this promise. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I praise you that you are a God of rest. And Lord, we are sorry for our sins. I am sorry for not taking care of myself and taking time to rest with you. Lord, we want to take time to thank you for all your blessings. I am thanking you for all these noises out here, for ducks that I'm seeing, and just for the peace of being in your creation. And Lord, we're to bring all our requests to you. As we're just talking about this, Lord, I'm thinking, um, I want to pray for friends and family that I know that have some heavy things that they're carrying, that they know that they can give those to you and you are their strength. So Lord Jesus, we pray all these things in the powerful name of Jesus. Can I hear an amen? Amen. All right. So now what's the park? Well, yesterday I had a splash of a time. I was at McGraw Park on Cornelius Drive. Yes, they have a splash park, they have tennis courts, they have softball, uh, soccer, and they have great sidewalks that you can take your bike on, walk on, uh, that are super fun. Now today, look at that beauty. Yes, take it all in. Can you guess what park I am at? Well, we will tell you tomorrow, but in the meantime, have a weekend that brings rest for your soul. A rest for your soul Friday. Word up. See you Monday.